the president has talked about upgrading and expanding the nuclear arsenal. Yes. And uh, to some extent, you know, I understand that you've got to modify and upgrade uh, the nuclear deterrent, um, you know, our, our uh, set of nuclear uh, weapons that um, deter enemies from, from attacking the United States. But the expansion seems to me uh, something that goes against a few decades of disarmament mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. other sorts of arms control talks, mm -hmm. something that you've been a part of in your mm -hmm. experience in the, in the Pentagon. And what's, what's your feeling about this? President Trump made a statement about the modernization of the nuclear arsenal in his first six months of office, which was a reflection of an ignorance about how the nuclear arsenal is actually uh, modernized. And it's important to understand that we make decadal investments in our nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. The endeavor we have undertaken to ensure that our nuclear weapons are safe, secure, and reliable without testing them, without physically testing them, mm -hmm. is one that has called upon the best scientists in our country to invent ways to do that. We now have more confidence in the capability mm -hmm. of our nuclear weapons than we ever did when we were uh, testing them in the atmosphere or underground. And that work continues. And in the course of the Obama administration, we made a major push to reduce our reliance on nuclear weapons and to take fissile materials off mm -hmm. the global playing field around the world to reduce the risk of terrorism terrorists getting access to nuclear weapons. Uh, and at the same time, we committed to ensuring that we were taking the steps necessary to make our uh, smaller nuclear arsenal one that was uh, more reliable and safer for use should the situation present itself that the President of the United States would actually have to make the enormously solemn decision to use nuclear weapons. Now, nuclear weapons are best uh, uh, never used. Mm -hmm but always at the ready. That's what deterrence is about. Uh, but you have to know that they have that capacity uh, should that be called upon. And there, I would say that the work we do to modernize involves um, very painstaking and careful work because our nuclear weapons are aging. Mm -hmm. And so there are elements of the actual components of nuclear weapons mm -hmm. that have to be changed out. Mm -hmm. They have to be replaced. It's kind of like when people have to have a knee replacement mm -hmm. or a hip replacement because right. they're aging. So in a very exquisite technological sense, mm -hmm. that's what we have to do with our nuclear right. weapons. But we have not actually built new nuclear weapons right. in this country as a result of policy policy decisions taken by a number of U.S. presidents who believed that based upon the expertise yeah. of our nuclear weapons scientists and the recommendations of the Secretary of Energy and the Secretary yeah. of Defense over, over decades, that we did not need to do so. However, the investment needs to be made continuously in that modernization, both of the arsenal and the infrastructure that supports it. And I'll close on this. Mm. Nuclear infrastructure involves people and it involves physical plants. Mm -hmm. That is, we have laboratories and sites mm -hmm. and individuals working in those places who have to be uh, invested in for the future mm -hmm. because you don't just snap your fingers and build a nuclear scientist or build a nuclear lab. Those right. are things that take a long time to, uh, to grow and we need to ensure that we have those capabilities far out into the future because although some may dream of a world without nuclear weapons. Yeah. Is that realistic? Uh, the reality is that as far out into the future as I can see, we are going to, as the United States, need to have a nuclear deterrent mm -hmm. because others will have nuclear weapons. And mm -hmm. we want to ensure that no one will ever mess with the United States of America.